going to discuss three functions map flatten and flat map why i chose three uh, basically i felt uh, most of the developers are very comfortable with the map function so it's it's kind of a useless if i'm creating a only a, a, a video for a map and uh, uh, map and flatten basically they will help us to understand the flat map and we will see how to use the flat map so we will start from a map so mainly map is a one-to-one -one function where you have very as a developer you want to change the one data structure into another type of data structure or data type to data type or if you want to change the format by doing uh, by uh, going with the same data type like what i'm saying i can say okay i have a list of something like a uh, list of strings where i'm saying okay a b c a, d e f and g h i and what i want i want to change the format somehow so i can apply a map so i will say okay uh, add this post and then give me the data so this is a one use case of a map uh, okay i can also show the list so it will be more easier to understand so in this case you can see uh, this is also a string data type list of strings and this is also a list of strings so in this case there is no change in a data type what change we did change it's only the format and it's a one to one relationship means we have three uh, three data uh, in a or three elements in a collection and here also we have three elements in a collection so map always give you the same number now second use case where mostly we use uh, we, we we can say okay i have a list of any data structure or any data in this case i'm saying okay integers and what i want i want to change the data type if you have a data structure like from person to user or anything in that case you can see okay this is a list of integers and this is a list of strings so both are different data types but the the relationship is still same one to one so that is a map function now moving towards the where we can use the flatten so uh, most of the time when i uh, i personally i use this with the uh, when i'm getting the data uh, data from the outside like third parties or maybe from the server side in the form of a api like json where i have a nested list where the the that the flatten is really helpful so in this case uh, we have a person and which contain this information and this has a mobile number so basically list of mobile numbers a uh, one person has one to many relationship and what we really want our end goal is to to collect all the mobile numbers we don't care the, the mobile number of which person only we want a list of mobile numbers so how i can achieve first just like we saw the the map here map can help so i'm saying okay change the data type or maybe the data structure so before that i have a person now i will get the list of so it's basically list list of uh, integer so in this case when i applied the map i'm applying on this field so it is giving me the mobile numbers in the form of a list of, and nested list of ints next we are expecting to get this so to make easy it look like this so these are the mobile numbers now i really want this should be in the form of a so we can give the name ints So now what we want we achieved so we want mobile numbers in the form of a list so that is a one way to achieve this or i can write in a one liner so persons dot map it dot my list it is returning the nested list then flatten and then sout so this one is done so in this case uh, we are able to achieve the result so both are same now we will see where flat map comes uh, flatten is pretty simple basically it will take the nested list and it will generate a one single link a list in case of a flat map uh, dot mobile numbers dot sout and now you can see we again achieve the same result 
So what is the difference? There is also uh, the difference in the performance, but first we will understand what happened. So once we applied the map, it gives us the nested list of integers and then we, add, we are saying, okay, do the flatten. In this case, basically flat map is kind of a wrong, I will not say it's a wrong name. I don't know who gave that name, but basically operational wise, it's, it's wrong. Originally what is doing is saying, okay, first apply the map and then do the flat. So it's basically a map flat or map flatten, uh, but it, but now we use a word flat map. And this is the trick how I try to remember this thing because in, in start when I started the reactive programming, I always struggle with the flat map. I, 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 like I can review the code, but still I don't really understand under the hood. And later I found, okay, what is happening? It's a basically applying a map and that map is returning a nested list. And then I'm saying, okay, do the flatten. And in this case, it's same, but it's directly one operator. And uh, what, uh, what is the benefit? So there is a performance benefit. Uh, before going to that also I prefer flat map there is not only performance uh, I also feel more comfortable like if I have a long chain then I'm applying something like this then I'm applying again something like anything like that and to me it look like more easier chaining by doing this so no need to use flatten use the flat map but again it's your personal choice now coming back to the uh, performance first and then we will see how to figure it out in your code where you can use the flat map so performance wise this map is a one loop and then this flatten is a n square so in this case you can also write n and this is a n square so in this case the total value will be n plus n square. And in this case, it's basically n square as per my understanding. If I'm wrong, please comment. So in this case, we are saving this extra n. And how we are saving, uh, for that I will, uh, I will do a separate video in my other uh, video series where we are uh, doing the overview of the Kotlin open source code, but only to give you the uh, simple glimpse. So in that case, you can see, okay, this is a flat map. How flat map works under the hood, there is a one loop and then transformation and this transformation is returning the list and then it's going inside add all. And this add all is always have a nested loop. Like you can see here, this is simple one. So again, inside of a for loop, this for loop. So it's always n square. And this one is a outsider one, the, the map one. Again, this is the map. We are here. This is a one loop. And then in the end, we are going into the add all. And then add all has a one loop. So it's a n square. Now coming towards this. So map, map is running first a one loop, completing this and then going to the flatten and flatten is creating a one more loop and then internally it's going again add all which is again a one loop. So in this case we have n, this is n, then this is plus n square. So I hope until now you guys are with me one more time. In a flat map, I'm going inside. So there is a one loop, which is simply this. And inside of this, we have a add all. And add all is always a one loop. So it's an n square. Coming flat map, coming here. This is a one loop n. Inside of this, there is a one more n. So we can say it's a n square. In this case, we have a n then coming back then going to the flatten we have a n square so it's a n plus n square now how to figure it out in your code so in in in, in most cases yeah now from now on if you found someone is using flatten you can give a direct suggestion hey use a flat map there are two benefits uh, one benefit is the improvement it's a very big benefit and if if you are struggling you for example uh, in in your code 
uh, you found something you are doing like you, you have some data and then you can see you are creating a new list which is a mutable list of integers and then you are applying for loop on l in list and then you are saying new list dot add all and then l so this is a one way where you can easily figure it out because most of the time it's pretty difficult to figure it out someone has functions for this we are writing in directly in imperative code so you need to run okay anywhere you have a nested list try to review that code maybe you will found okay so it's a flat map you can directly use that in this case again uh, the performance is again the same so in this case map so it's a uh, an operation and then after that i have this again one more loop and then inside of this one more loop so it's a n square and if i improve directly flat map it will work so i hope you guys enjoyed this video see you in the next video bye